President and CEO, David Scouseville, for a one-to-one -one question and answer session, addressing some of the issues posed by our members. I'm sure this will be a fascinating and fruitful discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a very warm welcome to the Right Honorable Tony Blair. Thank you very much indeed, Michael, for that immensely kind introduction. And it's a, a pleasure and an, a, an honor to be here with you at the World Travel and Tourism Council Asia Summit, um, to be here in this fantastic and historic city of Seoul in Korea, and to say to you, first of all, I'm a happy tourist, right? <laughs> I have much experience of tourism from a consumer point of view. Um, and in the work that I do, my different organizations and my presence in about 25 different countries in the world today, in the work that I do, I see the enormous importance of tourism to the, the way a country develops today. Important for its economy, important for its society, important in opening it up to the world and sharing different cultures and traditions, important of course for jobs and opportunity. Leadership's tough though today. Leadership's a tough business, always tougher than ever today. We live in an era of what I would call uniquely low predictability now. The decisions are very difficult on the economy. We see in the Eurozone, the crisis there. We see in the huge amount of monetary stimulus put in by central banks to keep our economies moving. We see in this also great dilemmas. How do you then reduce this stimulus once you've given it? And this is the debate that's going on with the Federal Reserve in the United States now. And as a political leader, it's tough because you can read something that tells you this policy is vital and the answer, and you can read equally intelligent people who will tell you the policy is a disaster and we'll all pay a heavy price in the future. In the post 9 11 world, in foreign policy, the choices as we see today with Syria are all difficult because they're so unpredictable. The second characteristic of today's world is the scope and the scale and the speed of change. Globalization is changing the world fast. Technology is transforming the world. And as we see here in Korea, those companies that are able to be at the forefront of technology gain a global presence and global impact in an extraordinary way. My generation was not brought up with technology in the same way. I had a conversation with my 13-year-old son the other day, and he found it impossible to believe that I had actually grown up in a society where there was no mobile phone. This for him was, I, I might as well say it, said I, I lived in a cave. It was inconceivable to him. But this is the way the world changes today so fast. And then, of course, the third change is that power is shifting east. First, I would say because the outcome of decisions today is so unpredictable, the only real recourse of leadership is to follow your instinct and do what is right and let your values be your guide. 